Closing entries are recorded in the journal and are dated as of the last day of the accounting period. A two-step approach to closing the temporary accounts will be used. A temporary account is used to assist in the process. This diagram shows how the revenue and expense account is used in closing the accounts. First, debit each revenue account and credit each expense account for its balance. Then, credit net income or debit net loss to the owner's capital account. Second, debit the owner's capital account for the balance of the owner's drawing account and credit the owner's drawing account. The closing process involves two closing journal entries. In the first closing entry, all the revenue and expense account balances are transferred to the owner's capital account, and in the second closing entry, the balance of the owner's drawing account is transferred to the owner's capital account. The two closing entries required in the closing process involve revenue, expense, and owner's capital accounts. Closing entries are recorded immediately following the adjusting entries. Debit fees earned for $16,840 and rent revenue for $120. Credit all the expenses which amounts to $9,855. The difference of $7,105 is the net income and is credited to Chris Clark Capital Account. The closing entries are recorded in the journal. First, write the heading, Closing Entries. The first step entry closes the two revenue accounts to expense accounts. The second step entry closes owner's capital to owner's drawing. After the closing entries are journalized, they are posted to the ledger accounts. Here is the ledger activity for net solutions, cash, land, office equipment, accumulated depreciation accounts, and accounts payable. Net solutions ledger activity is continued here in the accounts receivable, supplies, prepaid insurance, wages payable, unearned rent, and Chris Clark capital accounts. Net Solutions ledger activity continues with entries posted to Chris Clark, drawing, fees earned, rent expense, utilities expense, and insurance expense. Net Solutions remaining ledger activity includes rent revenue, wages expense, supplies expense, depreciation expense, and miscellaneous expense. After the closing entries have been journalized and posted to the ledger, another trial balance is prepared, called a post-closing trial balance. This statement should contain only real or permanent accounts. All temporary accounts should have zero balances. The post-closing trial balance includes the ledger balance for each account. <laughs>